Good morning. I'm back. So I said today I'm going to do a little ram. Seriously, eating those chocolate clusters that I got at Costco yesterday. Oh my god. They are so fantastic. Everybody needs to go and get those. Like, I think I'm going to have to go out and buy another bag. So good. Anyway. I'm going to have a little rant here. About Walmart. And it's not Walmart. It is a worker from Walmart. That I ran into. Um, two days ago. So, as you've seen in my vlogs, my niece got a puppy. Adorable little beagle puppy who's seven weeks old. So I was out and I had met up with my niece and she had her puppy with her. I said, oh, we'll go to Walmart. I wanted to pick her up a couple things, you know. And uh, I said, I'll sneak the puppy in. So I know that you're not allowed to take dogs into Walmart. Okay, I do know that. So, but I figured I'd just take her in, you know, size her up for her jacket before anybody noticed that she was in there. She's only tiny. She's itty bitty. So anyway, so we go in there and I sneak her in a bag and she's in a cart and we're looking at the little coats. Excuse me, sorry. And there's a worker there who's seen us and she kind of looked at me and she said, is that a puppy? And I said, shh. Don't say anything. And then she just kind of went over to the other side of the rack. But then there was another woman, a worker. And I don't know if she was a manager. Or if she was just a worker. Like a regular worker. Or who she was. But anyway, I found a cute little jacket. That I put on the puppy. And... It was so cute. It had little bunny ears, had the hood up, and I held her up and I said, Oh, take a picture and send it to the my niece's boyfriend, right? Because it was so cute. Well the woman behind me saw me and she went she looked at me with such disgust. Like I might as well have been holding up a skunk in the store, honest to God. And she went, Is that a pup? Is that a dog? And I went, because another thing, I hate when people ask me questions like that. Clearly, it's a fucking dog, right? Like, anyway. So anyway, she went. You can't have a dog in here. I would love to be able to bring my dog into work. She said, but we're not allowed. She said, she goes, there's uh, there's regulations against this. There's food in this store. You need to leave this store immediately. And I said. Oh, we're just trying on. I said, just sizing it for a little jacket. And she went, you need to leave this store immediately. Like, with that tone. I'm like, woman, you need to calm down. And I was like, okay. And so anyway, not liking her tone. Okay. No reason to get a tone. And so I, and then, then, no. And then she said it again. You need to leave this store. I went, okay. And so I put the puppy back in her, the bag in the crate. And we started walking away. And I was asking my niece, I was like, oh, is there a bigger size in the jacket? Because the jacket didn't fit the pup that I had on. It was too small. I would have bought that one. I was like, oh, is there a bigger size? And she was like, oh, I don't know. There's more on the other side. Um, but anyways, but we're walking away. And the woman is now behind us. And I thought... Bitch, you are not following me out of the store. So, I'm walking out, but I, like, crossed over to the opposite side of the aisle. Just to see, because maybe she was just going, you know, to another section. Maybe she was looking for something else to do. So, I kind of crossed over to the next side. I'm going to break my glasses. Sorry. And look, there she still is behind me. So I kind of weaved in and out like that. Still, we're heading towards the exit. Like, I'm leaving. Bitch still behind me. And 
So I get up, and I know at the front, right now in Walmart, there's all the Halloween stuff right by the door. So I kind of went up the back of that, because I still want to see if she was indeed, in fact, following me out. So I kind of went up the back there, up the middle aisle, and then parked the car at the front, because I have to pick up the dog, the bag, and my purse, right? So I had to stop in order to get my shit to get out. So that's what I was doing. And I looked up, and there she was again. Or still, I should say, she has followed me now. And she's standing there looking at me. And she went, you need to leave the store immediately. Well, then I lost it. I was like, oh, no. I said, you do not need to be following me out of this store. And to be honest, I can't remember everything I said to her because I was so mis pissed off. And I said, <laughs> but I said, yeah, I said that. Like, there's no reason for you to be following me out of here. I said, you know, and then by the end of it, I told her she can just go back off to wherever little, uh, whatever little, um, section that she came from in the first place. So, oops, sorry. Nope, oh, going off the road here a little bit. I'm gonna little heat it. So anyway, and then I go, grabbed the pup and I left. And she just kind of stared at me with this, like, uh, shit look. Now, I know I was in the wrong. I know dogs aren't allowed in, into the Walmart. Okay? So that's not even my main issue with that, okay? I get it. I was doing right, wrong. She did not have to come at me like she did. Okay? I've done this before. I've snuck every one of my pups into Walmart for the same reason. To get them little coats when they were pups. And everybody who has eventually seen me, they come up like a normal human and they'll say, oh, uh, like, uh, see your pup or is that a pup or whatever. And then they'll say, you know, I'm really sorry, but dogs aren't allowed in the store, so I'm going to have to ask you to take the dog out. That's fine. And then I say, oh, I understand. No worries. I'll take her out. Don't come at me with an attitude right from the get-go. There's no need. You don't have to attack me like that. That's what I didn't like. You can talk to me in a respectful manner. And I will be respectful right back at you. And I will leave. Like I said, I know I'm in the wrong. I know I shouldn't be in there. I should be sneaking it in. Right? But don't attack me like that. Don't treat me like I'm a criminal. You know, don't follow me out of the store. I wasn't stealing nothing. You know? And that's, that's what it made me feel like. Like, when somebody has been caught stealing, they escort you out of the store, right? I wasn't, I was gonna buy shit, okay? I didn't buy nothing, and uh, I should have looked for her name to find out who the hell she was, because I would call or go back to that Walmart. And that, by the way, that wasn't my Walmart that you just seen in my vlog from yesterday. No, 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 no. At my Walmart, there are nice people in there, okay? This bitch was from a different Walmart. So, yeah. No, I didn't buy nothing for the puppy from that Walmart. We went to another store and got the pup stuff. And got her cute little vest and her Kong and everything that she needs. But anyway, so my rant for this video was just that. It was the tone. And, as, and I've worked with... Um, the public. I've been in customer service. So I know how you should be interacting with customers, people that are in your store. And that's not the way that you interact with people. So lady needs to like take another course or learn like how to talk to people when she sees them. Like I said, all she had to do was say I'm sorry you can't have the dog in here. I'm going to have to ask you to take the dog out. But from get-go, she had serious attitude as if I had, like, come at her personally or something. Like, it would, I've never, I've never actually had somebody come at me like that in any type of profession or store, anything like that. Like, it seriously blew my mind. I thought, you know what? I'm a nice person. Like, I'm easy to get along with, and I actually don't like confrontation. But if you're going to come at me... 
if you're gonna make me get sassy, I'll get sassy. Like, I'm not scared to get sassy. So, you know. But anyway, that's the end of my rant. It's the end of my, my little story. Uh, I just had to, I had to tell it because it just, it really did. It floored me. I couldn't believe it. Over it now. Don't like that Walmart no more. Um, but, like I said, still got my good one. The one that you've seen yesterday's vlog. So, anyway. That's my rant video for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you anybody's had any uh, dealings like that with, with any stores or anybody. I'd love to hear it in the comments. Let me know. If you like the story, hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks. Talk to you later.